Hello everyone, Darko2012 here with Global Government News and I'm reading an article titled Six Deadly Chemicals You're Curing in Your Body and this is from Natural News written by E. Huff uh, Wednesday, January 20th, 2010 and um, it's not a long article, it's pretty short and uh, who knows, it may save your life someday so a recent biomonitoring study conducted by the Center for Disease Control and Prevention, or CDC, the fourth national report on human exposure to environmental chemicals, has revealed that out of 212 chemicals tested, all 212 were found to be in the blood and urine of most Americans. Six chemicals in particular, found in virtually every person, were identified by the CDC as probable health hazards. Every two years, the CDC conducts the chemical study which identifies human exposure to toxic chemicals. This year, 75 new chemicals were added to the assay that had never been before studied in the U.S. population. Every chemical tested in the study, including the 75 new ones, was found to be present in, almost, in most or all the study participants. The six most widespread chemicals identified, all of which are highly dangerous, include polybrominated diphenol, ethers or PDEs, um, bisphenol, I'm not pronouncing these right, but I know it is BPA, that's in the plastics, the uh, testosterone mimicking uh, chemical, and then there's uh, perfluoral um, octanoic acid or PFOAs, um, acrylamide, mercury, and methyl tert butyl ether, MTBE. And it explains it briefly down here. Flame retardant PDEs are chemicals added to all sorts of consumer products that are meant to decrease fire risk. They are known to build up. They are known to build up in human fat tissue, causing damage to the nervous system, liver, and kidneys. Studies also implicate PDEs in causing sexual dysfunction, thyroid problems, and brain disorders. And that's for the flame retardant PDEs. Um, uh, bisphen bisphenol, I cannot pronounce that, A, or BPA, a chemical that has received much attention recently, is another toxin added pr primarily to plastic products and uh, can linings that contributes to many of the same problems that PDEs do. More than 90% of those tested in the CDC study were found to have BPA in their bodies. And then you have the uh, fluoroctanoic acid, a chemical first developed by 3M and later used by DuPont, is used in non-stick cookware, stain-resisting clothing, certain food packaging, and other heat-resistant products, such as like Teflon, um, that stuff that's in the pans. Studies verify that PFOA contributes to infertility and other reproductive problems. Liver and immune system dysfunction are also associated with the use of PFOAs. And it says uh, alk acrylamide is a chemical carcinogen that forms when carbohydrate foods are cooked at high temperatures. French fries, fried chicken, and even coffee are all examples of food that have high acrylamide content. The chemical is also used in plastics, cosmetics, and water treatment products. Perpetual exposure to acrylamides is responsible for causing cancer and neurological, uh, neuro neurological dysfunction. Ah, maybe I got some of that. Most people are aware of the dangers of mercury, another common toxin found in most Americans and most vaccines. Mercury can cause permanent brain damage, and they found that it's also in high fructose corn syrup. Um, mercury is, uh, it literally eats holes in your brain. And it's used as a preservative in uh, most, if not all, vaccines, unless they specifically make uh, vaccines to not have the mercury in it. And um, and if they do, then they just say that it's not potent enough um, and that they bring it off the market like they did with the H1N vaccine, where they said that, oh, the children's uh, H1N1 vaccine is being recalled because it's not potent enough. And then I read read in read uh, a little more detail into it because they never cover that crap on the mainstream news they, they mention it but you have to dig for the details and uh lo and behold the ones that were recalled were the one and they and were labeled as not as not potent were the ones that were mercury free or thimerosal <clears throat> the report indicates suggestions to help avoid these chemicals in the products that contain them cleansing and detoxification regimens are highly effective at continually riding, ridding the body of toxic buildup and uh, 
you know, the biggest thing is just being aware of these things because they're everywhere, like aspartame and uh, MSG. There's just everything, when you look at it, it seems to have something in there that's a detriment to your health. So just be aware of it. That's all. It's nothing to be fearful of or scared of. Just um, become aware of what's in your food and what's in the products. Um, and that's about it. So thanks for checking us out.